Hi everyone, and welcome to episode number 166 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen, and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania, where I live, where I work, where I knit, and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is Saturday, June 17th, 2023, and it's a gorgeous day out. And I apologize in advance because there's likely going to be all kinds of additional <laughs> ambient noises compared to a normal week. They are having along Main Street in town. Every year on Father's Day weekend in the US, they have a car show. So there are hundreds of cars lined up on either side of Main Street for about two, three blocks. And it's closed to regular traffic and it's just people walking up and down and all these cars. They're old, old antique, well, maybe not antique, but they're old, old, some of them are old cars, some of them are muscle cars, some of them are, they just, all kinds of cars. And there might be music that you hear in the background, there might be motors, there might be honking, <laughs> and a lot of people. And they've been at it since 8.30 this morning, it's now 1.30 and they're going till at least, I think, 4, something like that. So. They're gonna be there for a while yet, so. And I'm not really that into cars at all, so. It's, it's fun to watch just out my window. <laughs> but there might be all kinds of other weird background noises today, but such is life. So, it's been a busy week, as per usual. I have one finished object, progress on two whips, and a new cast on. It's been a fun week. So my first finished object are my Zinja socks. So again this is the qualifying round pattern for Super Sock World Championship 23 and this is a pattern by Bridget Freyer and I love them. They are mosaic knitting and I did them fraternal and I reversed the colors. So last week I was partway through the first sock. Don't remember how far along I was on this one but that was the first one showed on this side. No, you can still see where the needles. Anyway. And then I wasn't sure, but I did decide to reverse the colors on the second sock. And I I like it. They look quite different with the the reversed colors. The yarn I used for this, oh, I do still have the labels here. One label. There's the other label. So the yarn I used for this is Valley Yarns Huntingdon from Webbs. The one color is dark purple. No, red purple. Sorry, red purple. That's the one color, and the second color I used is mustard. So that was the first qualifying round pair of socks, and I submitted them, and they were fine, they were approved, so I'm advancing into the, the next part of the competition. So this one is set up. After the qualifying round, you get a certain number of points if you're the first one on your team to finish, uh, a few less points if you're second, third, and so on, and then after that, the first so many, you get a set number of points. You are able to modify them to shorty socks, but you'll only qualify for, or you only get one point for that, which is fine. So. 
I'll show you more on Super Suck World Championship a bit later. So my other works in progress that I had going, I have in first one in my Moonstone Dye Works project bag. And these are my June sort of shorty socks. And I've made a good bit of progress since I saw you last week. I'm just untangling the yarn. So, from the cat marker upwards. And I'm at the point now where I'm starting to do the increasing for the gussets. And then once I get that part done, I will be ready to switch to the, the bare yarn and do the heel turn and the heel flap and then back to the blue up the leg until I run out and then just do a little pop of white at the top. So those are my June sort of shorty socks. Uh, two at a time, toe up. And this is yarn from Orlando Fiber Arts and this was her 12 day advent calendar that I bought last December. And instead of doing it, opening these over the, each one is a 50 gram skein of yarn. And instead of opening it one a day for the 12 days of Christmas, I've opted to open them one a month throughout 2023. So I will open box one in January, box two in February and so on. So we're in June right now, I have six more pair to go. So that's my progress on my June toe up two at a time sort of shorty socks. My other whip that has seen a lot of work this past week is my Penguono. This is a pattern by Stephen West. I'm using six and a half millimeter or size US 10 and a half needles on this. And I'm using a bunch of my sport weight hand dyed yarn. This is all yarn I dyed myself. And I'm holding everything double with a strand of berry, a sport weight berry yarn. So here's where I am now. There's the back. I tried this, I, I modeled it for my husband last night, uh, yesterday, I think it was. And I turned around and he goes, oh, you look like a construction worker. <laughs> that is about the right color. So anyway, the back is done. I've got the shoulder pieces done now. Since, since you've seen me last, I've added the shoulder. I've done the entire right, nope, left front. So this from the orange forward. So this whole front panel, the shoulder piece. And then I've also done the shoulder piece on the right side. And I think when I saw you last, I think I was on the purple part here on the front. I didn't leave a marker in there. But I finished the right front as well. Sorry, I'm just kind of like aiming it on where it sits on me. So I'm making really good progress on this. I still have to do the sleeves. That's the next step. Get the sleeves on. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it as the pattern shows and keep them as short sleeve sweaters so they come above the elbow or if I want to keep it more as um, a full sweater or full cardigan and take the sleeves longer. I think I'm leaning towards taking the sleeves longer and as I do that I will probably decrease the sleeves so they narrow down a bit more as you get towards the wrist. Come back in a week or two and see what I've decided to do, what I find up, end up doing. So I still have both sleeves to do Then after the sleeves are done, the only part that's left to do is 
the collar which goes around the back and part way down the front so it's kind of a, a small shawl collar that goes around the top and the front and then there is an additional garter or garter type piece that you you pick up all bunch of stitches all the way around the bottom and you build on and just add some length onto the bottom um, all the way from one front all the way around to the other side so I once I get to that section I will do it I will knit to the number of rounds or rows that are recommended in the pattern I will try it on for fit and see what I think of the length I might up to do it a bit longer depending on if if it seems a little too cropped or a little too short for my liking I might I suspect I might do it an inch or two longer than what the pattern says which is granted only a handful of rows it's not a lot it's it's a, it's this is knitting up like sport weight doubles knitting up to like a bulky almost a bulky weight yarn so each row each couple rows is is a fair bit so I will see I will play that by ear once I get to that part I'm not in a huge hurry I'm hoping to get a little bit more done on it this week but we shall see once I show you my new whip you'll understand exactly what I mean that I might have more to show you next week or maybe not so those are my my finished object my two existing whips and now I have a new whip to show you and this is what I have so far These are the Lap 1 Super Sock World Championship 2023 socks. These are the low octane ones and it's a mosaic knitting technique. The pattern is called Repeat After Me and it's by Erica Deniat. I think I'm saying that right. Niat? Niat? I'll hopefully be able to get that written down across the bottom for you. But these are the round one or lap one socks. The pattern came out about lunchtime yesterday, I think it was, on Friday. So got a little bit done last night. I've done part of the part of the repeats today. It'll smooth out. It, this one probably will need some blocking once it's done because it's a little, little bit puckery. But we have to mark every every repeat, so every 12 round repeat. So I've got two, two full repeats are done. The yarn I'm using for this is also Valley Yarns Huntington. I bought quite a lot of this. It was on sale, oh, a year, maybe almost two years ago. I've had this for a little while. But I was planning on doing a bunch of sort of shorty socks, but I was going to do them in solid. So I bought about a dozen colors with single skeins. They're 50 gram skeins. I bought about a dozen of them. And I bought several skeins. It was a light gray. And I was going to use those for toes, heels, and cuffs. But I haven't gone around to doing that. I've, I've started doing my own sort of shorties with my Advent, 12 day Advent calendar. And I haven't used these for that. And I've used up some of the gray. <laughs> so, but what I'm, what I like about that is I have numerous skeins of 50 gram or 50 gram skeins 
in a lot of nice contrasty colors. So that's what I've done again for the repeat after me socks. The darker color is blue and the lighter color is arctic. And I'm considering doing them fraternal like I did with these guys, but I've seen someone posted pictures on Ravelry where they've done them fraternal and reversed the colors. And because of the way the mosaic pattern is written, it doesn't look this part looks very much the same from doing the cuff in, in my case, if I did the cuff in dark blue and then continued on, or if I do the cuff in light blue and continue on. The, the main body of the sock looks almost the same. So I'm going to wait and see, I'll finish in this we do the, I think it's only the, can't remember if it's the, the cuff, heel, and toe, or if it's the cuff and heel are in the one color. I can't remember for sure. And the pattern's way over there. So I will wait until I have the first sock complete and then what I plan on doing is I will weigh both the, both of the balls of yarn and I will decide then if I, if I have not used more than 25 grams of either skein, I might do them both the same with the dark blue on the, the cuff and accent points or if I'll switch them. I don't know. But the plan is, so we have a two-week window to finish these pair of socks. And my general plan is that I will probably be spending most of my spare time this week coming up working on these guys. Once these are done, then I will move on to Penguono and my sort of shorty socks again. So chances are I won't be working on Penguono much more this week unless I miraculously finish a lot on those socks and get them done before Friday or Saturday morning, which uh, probably won't happen. I'll probably be showing you one complete sock and one sock probably about a third to halfway done. We shall see. Come back in a week and find out how, I, how far I got. So, what else is new around here? Not a lot. Last night we went out and watched a fireworks show. The a local fire department, not too far from us, have an annual fundraising carnival fair. They have rides and all kinds of stuff. And the last Friday night of the carnival, they have a fireworks show. So we drove over there last night and just parked our car and we just sat in the car and watched the, the fireworks show. So it was a really nice fireworks show. I quite enjoy a good fireworks show. So that's been about the excitement <laughs> for the week. Hubby is out at work this morning and early afternoon he'll probably be back home in the next hour or so we might do a riff tracks double feature tonight I think that'll be fun we always love watching stupid riff tracks movies like the bad movie first and then see what riff tracks does to it which is always fantastic and aside from that been really quiet and boring around here. Really, really quiet, really boring. I've just been doing some school things, alternating with a few knitting things, kind of back and forth, but that's about it. 
So, I should let you go. I will see you guys again in a week. Take care, everyone. Bye.